so Derek started dashing like for real for real today and he delivered around Akadoches at lunch today and that went like decently well um, and we've been in Lufkin this evening it's Friday so I think you know that's playing into it but also he went through and accepted like all the different um, delivery options and now because he did that they're feeding him the higher paying ones um, it's December so I get to see all the Christmas lights so it's like a two for one we get to drive around looking at lights and he gets to make money holy yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we can check everything out that being said there's like so many different restaurants here little food trucks like even just small little express restaurants big ones and every single one of them seems to be thriving and people order really weird things people are ordering while they're at work like at the grocery store or the gym or the hospital yeah it's very interesting uh, a little different because Maine at least where we are doesn't have this kind of vibrancy and economic success so this Saturday morning, we bopped down to the reservoir and we're doing some paddling while Derek's doing some fishing. And I'm gonna paddle and explore. Some boids over here, I'm not sure what kind yet. I have my binoculars to do some birding. The water's a little low. My plan is to kind of like paddle along the edge, look at all the different spots. I don't know that there's really any true coves. Um, and Derek's gonna kind of fish in the middle, <laughs> you know. We're out here together, but separate, um, which is fine because I just really like to paddle. So I'm going to do that. I don't have a tripod because I didn't think to bring it, but it's a nice cool morning. So this morning I like trained the dogs, let them play, then fed them. And now they're in the trailer. So we're out here before it gets like too hot in the day for that. And then it's going to be thunderstorms later today. And the last thunderstorm experience we had, we had tornado watches and stuff. So. I'm a little nervous about that. Especially because it's going to be overnight. We'll, we'll see. So this is a reservoir. So it's like flooded. Um, from a river. So you have all this like weird timber growth that had died back. Uh, those two ducks. They're two ruddy ducks. And I've identified these terns flying around. They are Foster's terns. Which I guess are the most abundant and widespread across Texas. And there's probably, we've probably seen like a hundred of them just fishing around and diving. So, off to a good birding start. Good Monday morning. I've had better Monday mornings, but good morning. So, this guy... Poor Scootly has an ear infection, or at least that's what I'm expecting. So we've been here for two weeks now, and since like mid last week, he's had a lot of problems and discomfort with his right ear. Um, I thought it was bug bites at first, and I'm pretty sure it was bug bites, but he scratched the point, um, and I think it got so irritated that it got infected. I've tried cleaning it. I don't have his ear flush, and if I just was a good dog mom and kept it stocked. I could have treated this a lot earlier and probably not had it progress, but I was out because I ran out and I didn't restock before we moved. So I was luckily able to call and get an appointment for him today at four. So he's just on some carprofen that I had, um, for Brantley that to just like kind of reduce the inflammation and numb the pain a little bit for him. I could have called around a bunch of different places to see if I could get in earlier, but I'm just, you know, surprised I even found an appointment for today. And I think, you know, waiting till four will be fine. In the meantime, we have fleas. Um, I should have also expected this and kept my flea spray on hand. Um, all of our animals are treated. My cats are all brevectoed for fleas, ticks. Um, they have brevecto plus. So that even does heartworm for two months, uh, like parasites for two months. And the cats are covered for flea and tick for three. And I just gave that to them before they left. The dogs, I gave it to them in October in the beginning, so it's three months. They have October, November, and through the end of December. So everyone's covered, but there's just fleas. Like, we deal with this at home in Maine, um, but even here, you know, there's stray cats, stray dogs, 
um, like wild animals. So fleas are just in the outdoors and we have a very outdoor lifestyle and they just come in on the animals and then they start to settle into your clothing, your fabric, um, your bedding. So I got this stuff from Walmart. It's called Adam's Flantic Carpet and Spray. Uh, carpet and home spray and it looks similar I haven't actually compared the um, ingredient profile but it's provides seven month control of fleas and like honestly the instructions looked exactly the same as vet chem so I'm hoping that it is They're not a big uh, problem for other people or they just don't care but people who do like van life and stuff or car life or RV life and kind of live more of an outdoor lifestyle don't seem to talk about insects is an issue and particularly fleas. Um, it's hi, <laughs> hello, how you doing? Um, it's not that like, you know, there's just really no way of preventing them if they're outside. So, um, you know, my animals are treated, like I said, I like clean, I vacuum, I shake all of our bedding out and our carpets out for fur, like multiple times a week because it accumulates so fast in here. Um, so it's not like anything to be ashamed of, but you know, they are present and maybe some people just don't mind getting bitten up, but I fucking hate it. So I'm using pesticides. Okay. So I put the dogs outside so I can spray it down the bed. I just washed this blanket yesterday, but we did sleep with it out and I haven't treated yet. So I'm going to go ahead and treat that. Casting it everywhere. There's instructions on this on how to spray it. I just kind of spray it a foot away. So I'll do the other side of that when I this side is right up. Now I'm going to spray the mattress itself. So that's open. I'll close this screen. Help things dry out really fast in here. Battery, whoo, draining quite a bit. But we're actually charging at the moment. And then I'm gonna take my stuff and get out of here. Go hang out with the dogs. So yeah, dogs have those little platforms now. I don't have anything to wipe that down with. Shoot. All right. spent roughly the last 45 minutes in our tornado warning like warning uh, my neighbor texted that she was going in her storm shelter and we were welcome to come over I rounded up all the animals like at first I had them in the trailer but now I have them in the car oh, that's her yeah that was just my neighbor saying that she's probably coming out of the shelter now um <sighs> 
yeah, anyway, so we already decided to leave and go back to Maine um, this morning because I was already freaking out about the tornado warnings this morning, like knowing that they were coming because it's our second week here. We've only been here two full weeks, well, a little over, and we've already had like two or three <clears throat> tornado watches, and it's just, I'm not cut out for this. I'm not. Um, the research that I did did show that East Texas had possible tornadoes year round, but like tornado seasons really April, May, and June. Um, they've all said like all the locals around here said this is abnormal, but I don't fucking care cause I'm living in a trailer. I mean, luckily my neighbors have a storm shelter and they're so fucking nice, but we're not, we're not doing this anymore. We're not staying here. We're going back to Maine because also Derek's work situation, he'd rather just make money working than like driving around eight hours a day doing door trash and making like a hundred bucks a day, which I understand. Um, I just had like a mini panic attack. My adrenals are shot. I think I'm going to let all the animals out now and then re-corral them if I need to. They've done, they didn't like being in the trailer with the loud rain, but they're doing okay in here right now. Hi, puppies. Hi, and Ash is just always looking for pets, so yeah, it's been real. It's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun, thanks to my college roommate, Taylor, for teaching me that. I use it all the fucking time. We're not friends anymore. I kind of wish we were, but uh, yeah, she taught me that, and it's fucking hilarious. Okay, I need tequila. So we're just about packed up, ready to roll out, and of course, the weather is fucking perfect. <laughs> the day we got here, I'm very emotional. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I wish I didn't get attached to things so quickly. We've only, like, we left three weeks ago to the day. But I'm just, like, grieving kind of the life I had planned down here. And the reason we're leaving is because it didn't go as planned. Um, for Derek, mostly, and then for me with the tornadoes. It's been really stressful, so... Here. This for you. Oh my god, there's more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's probably a, a whole community. Like Wait. So much waste. All right, it is Thursday. No. Yeah, Thursday morning. We're good to go. Um, cats have been fed. Dogs are getting Kong before breakfast because it's so really early. So I'm just going to go through my lockup procedure. I have locked, 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 locked on all the cat grates. Lock the door. Bar across that to prevent it from opening. I cinch this shut with a strap. One, two, three buckles on the fridge. My Kofifi. And we're good to go.
driving with these kayaks on top. It's like a sail. Well, we're back in our home state, our actual home home state. No more border crossings. Woohoo! Welcome to Maine. So far, we're still dealing with rain, not snow. Well, we've hit the snow line and we still have like an hour left. I was hoping Derek was just gonna leave me behind, kind of, because I don't, I just wanna go my own pace. And he's like, you get in front, you set the pace. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to. He's like, go ahead, 